All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Martin and Zach at the Movies, episode 11. Uh, we're going to take a look at some Christmas movies. Now, as you know, uh, Zach is still a superimposed image sitting next to me. Okay, dude, dude, if you No, 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 you have to look festive for this. See the hat? You need to look festive. All right, all right, you, you're going to... Okay. Much better, thank you. All right, now, we're going to talk about some Christmas... Yes, I realize I'm kind of insane. I'm talking to a superimposed image. Okay. So we're going to talk about Christmas movies uh, for this episode, three of them in particular. First one up is Scrooged, the Bill Murray classic. Uh, it's a take on A Christmas Carol. I really like this movie. I don't know what his opinion of it is, but uh, I enjoy this movie. It's always been one of my favorite Christmas movies. And as far as, you know, Christmas Carol-esque movies, it's always been, you know, high up there on the list. Just because it's not that typical Ebenezer Scrooge idea. It's, you get Bill Murray, you get Danny Elfman's amazing musical score, which is good in almost any movie you get. And of course, you know, just a really interesting, interesting look at a modern, modern retelling. And I've always liked that about the movie. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> but yeah, I highly suggest if you're picking up movies to watch uh, this Christmas, go right ahead, watch Scrooge. It's a great movie. It's got a great cast. It's just outstanding. Bobcat Goldthwait's in it. You don't see him in a lot of movies, but uh, if you want to see a Bobcat Goldthwait movie, this is it. This is the one. Yeah, I really should be trying to sell this movie on Bobcat Goldthwait. All right, so moving on to movie number two, Gremlins. I like Gremlins. I've always liked Gremlins. Um, Gremlins 2 is my all-time favorite movie. Gremlins, the first one, is one of my favorite Christmas movies. And I know what you're saying. That's a horror movie or, you know, not not a Christmas movie. It's totally a Christmas movie. He gets the Mogwai as a present. There is snow outside. Santa gets mauled by Gremlins. That's a Christmas movie. And, you know, you got to give, you got to get it. Santa's getting mauled by Gremlins. It's an amazing scene. Um, you know, it's kind of that revolutionary of the modern day creepy monster that kind of branched out from there is Gremlins. And every movie, all of those movies wanted to be Gremlins and steal Gremlins' thunder. And uh, none of them succeeded. But Gremlins is just an amazing movie. It's got great, you know, graphics for the day. The cast, although not horribly famous by today's standards, it's a good, it's a strong cast. They work well with each other. And, uh, and yeah, and you get Mogwai. You get Gizmo the Mogwai. If you've never seen Gremlins... I, you know, you really need to go out and watch this movie. It is it is a classic. It should be watched almost every Christmas or any other time you just want to watch a really good movie. So pause the video, go watch Gremlins, and then come back and hear me talk about the last movie. All right, thanks for doing that. I gave you a little pause there so you could pause it and not miss anything. I'm helpful. So a superimposed image of Zach. What do you think of the first two movies? Yeah, I don't know what was going to happen there. I was kind of hoping the mouth was going to start moving, but I guess I don't have that kind of technology. So uh, we're going to get rid of superimposed image of Zach right now. And uh, we're bringing in a special guest host for this last review. That's right, special guest host. Woohoo! Woohoo! I told you to be quiet until I introduced you. I haven't <laughs> actually introduced you yet. All right. That was going to happen. So our special guest host uh, for, this, for this last review, because they didn't know anything about the first two movies, so I'm bringing him in for this last one. Is Courtney Krause. What's up? You've heard us talk about her. She's uh, the girl who almost was hiding behind a popcorn bucket of Prometheus. It was really scary. She hated Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Because it was nothing like the book. And I'm sure we made a couple more references to her. But she's going to help me talk Hi. about The Muppet Christmas Carol. Ooh, and can I say before we start, you really do need a co-host. Because you have nothing when you can't bounce your jokes off people. I know, right? I'm just saying. You don't even look at the photo, right? Man, you know what? I'm not even really doing the slideshow thing for this one because I know what I'm talking about. Really? Mm-hmm. I wasn't getting that bad. I mean, I'm still putting the posters up here, but I'm not, like, doing the slideshow thing that I'm watching and just looking over there, so I know I'm, that's my script. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, I shouldn't be explaining this uh, on camera. So, Muppet Christmas Carol. Muppet Christmas Carol, by far one of the best Muppet movies made. Oh, classic. It is. I own. I own. I own he it owns, well. too. I own it as well. If you're going to watch a version of A Christmas Carol, totally watch the Muppet version. Oh, a, totally. A lot of people tell you to go to the Patrick Stewart version or the George C. Oh, Scott version. or This version 
has Gonzo, has Rizzo mm-hmm. the Rat, and Kermit, you're good. And it has Charles Dickens' original writing in it. <gasps> that I did not know. I'm not yep, a fan. That's, of, I'm not a fan of the Dickens. That's what uh, Gonzo and Rizzo do. Like any every time Gonzo talks in Old English, that's from the original. Well, I, I gathered that. Mm-hmm. That's from I Dickens. Just figured he was doing Dickens s. Nope, that's the actual. Straight from the book. Straight from the book. So if I go to the library and get the book, it'll. I'll match it up. At least before Rizzo interrupts him, yes. I don't know, you said Gonzo and Rizzo. Rizzo is helping, but he does he just interrupts. He has the humor. He's my Zack. Oh, you are so not Gonzo. You are no. no, you are not cool enough for that kind of a Muppet. Alright, so it's got Michael Cannon in it, which Who is fantastic. Which as my you favorite know, Scrooge. Mm-hmm. Which as you know, Martin and Zack at the movies highly recommends Michael Caine. Um, <laughs> like how we do that at the same time. Yeah, of course, because it's a highly recommending Michael Caine moment here. It's, uh, I can't think of any other actor in that movie, because I'm not sure if there is another actor in that movie. Other than the Muppets? Yeah, I think the no. chick. No, is, she's not. She's not famous? She's not famous. She's not famous. But Dude, it's... you heard that solo. Eh. But yeah, but yeah Frank Oz doing uh, Frank Oz and... Jim Henson are it still... Was in the me- no, it was no, in memory of Jim Henson. Yeah, it was That's the right. memory of... If, when you watch it, mm-hmm. it says, in memory of it's Jim the first Henson one and after. some other dude. Yeah, the guy who did... um, What is his name? The Muppet. Which one? We can the... go grab it and put it in, and then we would know. <laughs> no, he did the... I can't remember the actor's... The Muppeteer's name, but he did the stage manager from The Muppet Show. The... Uh, and by the way, if you haven't paused this... To go watch him up a Oh, yeah, Carol. seriously. Go. Dude, seriously, what is wrong what with What is wrong? You? I'm probably going to go home and watch it. Well, go not on. really because my nephew's sleeping in the other room and my sister said she'd kill me if I woke him up and well, <laughs> I, she would do it. Muppet Christmas Carol is on my to-watch list for Christmas yet. I haven't watched it yet. Um, I've watched it several times since I bought it and that was only like two weeks ago, dude. Yeah, she's one of those people. But yeah, It's a good movie. It is. It is the best telling of A Christmas Carol I've seen. Um... So seriously, that Classic. is probably the best Christmas movie. I know a lot of people go with, like, A Christmas Story. Oh, or... I have y- yet to see it. Christmas Story isn't bad. Um, I don't have a poster for that one, and I'm not going to put one up. But just a little quick thing, just because... I know uh, he shot his eye out, but um, just because who doesn't I do that nowadays? just jumped on this topic. Um, I don't think I've ever seen that movie all the way through. I've definitely seen the entire movie, though, because TBS runs it for 24 hours a day. Oh, oh, on Christmas Day, and I, so I've definitely seen the entire movie, but in just, pieces, just not in order. I don't think I've ever seen the movie in sequence. I have seen bits and pieces that other people have referenced on TV and in movies. Mm-hmm. So the American way. It's not a bad movie, but Muppet Christmas Carol is still better. Totally tops it. So I'm gonna throw in a bonus just because she's mm. gonna have no idea what this is, I but I know what it is because I got this. See, I figured because there mm-hmm. are four pictures. See, he yeah. has pictures on the side. Yeah, I'm just not scrolling script. through them. Um. Because I watched this when I was a kid. I actually got it uh, on VHS when I was a kid for Christmas. It is a Muppet Family Christmas. I see that. Never see- want to, though, because it's Muppets. Own it on DVD. I mean, it's Muppets. You can't go wrong with Muppets. It's um, an American classic. The Muppet, Take that, like... The Muppet work. Christmas... The Muppet Family Christmas isn't just the Muppets. It's the Sesame Street characters. It's Fraggle Rock. It's... Aw, the Fraggle Rock ones are creepy. It's everything Jim Henson... Freaked me out as a kid. It's everything Jim Henson had at that time. All putting together into this one Christmas special. Including Elmo? Um, Elmo was there, but this is long before the Elmo craze. So Elmo was just mixed in with the rest of the monsters. It actually, for as far as the Sesame Street characters goes, it focuses way more on Bert and Ernie. Oh, back when they were just Big friends Bert. or in yeah. Facebooks, it's complicated. Well, I got it when I was a kid, so yeah. Hey! I'm going to get rid of the Santa hat. Respect. But yeah, People it's, are right. it's about Kermit and the Muppet Gang going to, renting a cabin for Christmas so they can spend Christmas together. Oh. And, um... And that's what it is. And, like, the Sesame Street characters show up to spend Christmas with them. Including Snuffleupagus? I think Snuffleupagus is there. I'm not 100% sure, but I think he's there. Always been a Snuffleupagus fan. I don't know. It's because he's big and fluffy and you just want to hug him. <laughs> um, and there's a hold of Fraggle Rocks because if you ever watch Fraggle Rock, and I've never really watched Fraggle Rock, but I know they this much. They creep me out. I don't know if it's because they come pop out of the rocks. 
Um, Maybe but, I got a kid version of Tremors was, vibe, but <laughs> kid version of Tremors. Um, I can't. I don't like Tremors. There was a dude and a dog, and they a were a dude and a dog. A dude and his dog, and they lived in their basement, and that's the cabin they rent from. Is from the guy. That sounds wholesome. <laughs> it's good time. Kids go. And it is. Do it that. is a great Christmas movie. It's from my childhood. Well, it's a Christmas special. It's from my childhood. You can't find it anywhere anymore. Like. I stumbled across a copy at uh, hmm, half What's price. so wrong with renting a cabin from a dude with a dog who live in the basement? I no, 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 know no. what? The Fraggles live in the curse basement. Curse you! Ma- no, not actually. Curse America. Fraggles. You like Muppet Christmas Carol, and we invented the Muppets, so we're Fraggles. one. Fraggles live in the basement. The dude in the oh, dog live in the rest Fraggles. of the house. Dude! It's called an exterminator. Just... <laughs> um, Kill them all. But yeah. It's a great classic if you can find it. Like I said, I stumbled across my copy, and the minute I saw it, I went, yoink. yoink. And it'll probably never be on Blu-ray. It'll probably never... Oh. I, mean, I have my DVD copy, so I'm good. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah. It's not Blu-ray. <laughs> and I guess I'm going to throw in one more bonus, and this one won't get a poster. because Ooh, I, uh, I had a little shake shake there. Did you see it? Yeah. Because <laughs> <there's, laughs> yeah! there's absolutely no poster for this one. There wouldn't be a poster. I might be able to find something, but I'm not going to try. Oh, come on. You can fake Photoshop so you know oh, that. Like the dinosaur yeah. on the shark. Or not, yeah, like, you know. Sh- one second. I was not prepared to do this one, so that's Clearly why. Clearly he's not. So that's why I have to get up and grab something. And that is. That's, to be fair, he just wanted to uh, show off the awesome floral. The Star Wars Holiday Special. Really? Really? This is a uh, copy of the Star Wars Holiday Special. You can't really make it out, but that is what is in my hand right now. A uh, friend, my brother, got it for me for Christmas one year. And uh, this is this is terrible, by the way. Um, yeah. If you ever get the chance to watch this, Don't. watch it, and you'll understand why George Lucas wants every copy of this movie burned. If you want to see Harrison Ford and Mark Hamill... So basically, right now, you're pissing off George Lucas, and I could call him up and say, yo, you missed a copy. He could fly you, on out you here. You have George Lucas's home number. Facebook, dude. Everyone puts their numbers up there, except for me, because safety yeah. first. So if you don't know what the Star Wars Holiday Special is about, let me explain it to you, because I know she doesn't. I don't, because I've never seen Star Wars, other mm-hmm. than Phantom Menace, and I don't count that, because it sucked. All right, so... Chewbacca, the Wookiee. I know what the Wookiee is. Okay. Okay, I know he's a Wookiee. It celebrates Life Day. Life Day? Life Day on the planet of Kashyyyk. Kashyyyk? That's the Wookiee homeworld. Sounds Chewbacca, like- Chewbacca is on his way to go see his wife, his child, and his daughter. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep. How does that thing reproduce? I don't know, but he has I a don't want to know the noises that come out of that. Yep. And uh, throughout the movie, you get little cameos by Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, Carrie oh. Fisher. <laughs> yeah, Harrison Ford is in this. <laughs> Seriously, watch this oh. thing. It is Hey, terrible. this is from the man who married Callista Flockhart, so clearly it lapse in judgment from time to time. It is essentially... Um, oh, wait, did they get married? No, I think I they're just dating. Seriously, they've been da- if they've been just dating, it's been like forever. Seriously, this thing, it's essentially... The best way to s- sum it up... Why is it so heavy? Because there's multiple discs in there. It's like, it's a four-disc set. It's got other Star Wars things in it. Deleted magic. Yes. Um, uh-huh. it's essentially like a, um... Return of the Ewok, Donnie, and Marie, and yep. more. That is literally one of the discs. Yep, it also has the Muppet show where Luke, where uh, Mark Hamill guest stars. Um... <laughs> Secretly, it's because he has a Donnie and Marie obsession. Shh, I'm, Don't I'm look describing. Don't look in the bedroom. It's essentially like a variety show, and that's what the Star Wars Holiday Special is. It's a variety show. This is the back, people. It's the weird magic. That right there. It's essentially a variety show, and uh, B. Arthur's in it. I forgot to mention, B. Arthur's in it. <gasps> May she rest in peace. Um, yep. B. Arthur is in it. One also, of my favorite Golden Girls. And also, for Star Wars fans, has the first appearance of Boba Fett. Um, It sucks. That's Seriously. the first appearance of Boba Fett. Oh, yeah. He's in an animated short. Isn't he, like, in one of the actual Star Wars movies? This came out between the first movie and the second movie. Okay. This was, Mar- this was George cool. Lucas's first attempt at catching in on Star Wars. Before he we went, man, I should just make a sequel. That man don't know how to, you know, capitalize on a moment. 
He kept the um, merchandising rights to the Star Wars franchise. And then at said Disney could make another one. Even I know that's bad. Yeah. For a buttload of money. No, no, the man doesn't oh, know Oh, good. How... He has character. Oh, yeah. Man knows how to make money. This was supposed to make money. This bombed. So, for the Christmas edition of Martin and Zack at the Movies... Plus Courtney. Uh, with Courtney for this one episode... And just... Packer Earrings Go Pet Go. Ha <laughs> got one in there. I knew I would. We rambled off a bunch of Christmas movies for you. Um, go watch whatever your favorite is. If your favorite is A Miracle on 34... If your favorite is A Miracle on 34th Street, It's a Wonderful Life. Oh, no. My mom has a... We have a rule at my house. My mom can only watch It's a Wonderful Life between Thanksgiving and Christmas, and that is it. I've never seen It's a Wonderful Life. Don't. But uh, go watch... Go watch whatever your favorite Christmas movie is. I know, personally, my mother's favorite Christmas movie is The Ref. With what? Dennis Leary. Favorite Christmas movie. The Ref. She wants to watch it every year. It's hilarious, because, you know... That explains a lot about me. And also Charlie Brown Christmas. It was a good Christmas. Oh, I haven't That's seen classic. that yet. Or Rudolph. I blame TV. They haven't aired it nearly as much as they did. Rudolph, the Frosty. No, not Frosty. Frosty needs to die. Santa's Take a coming. blowtorch to him and burn his Santa's little coming head. to town. Oh, good. If you, if you really are, like, Gremlins-esque Christmas movies, then you get to add stuff like Batman Returns onto the list, and... Pretty much any movie that takes place during Christmas. Could you technically say Batman and Robin because uh, Frost Mr. is Freeze? in there? No, or Mr. Mr. Fr- it's not. It doesn't take place during Batman. Christmas. It just has but a cold character. Ice. But yeah, go watch your favorite Christmas. Okay. Hmm? No, and I was gonna say, what if the reason he's so obsessed with ice is because he really loves Christmas, but got made fun of it a lot. He's obsessed with ice because his of his wife. Okay, that's what they say in the movie, but is that the truth? It's like the internet. You can't believe everything, dude. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm going to wrap this up oh, And now. the Grinch. How did we Oh, not? the Grinch. But the original, not the one with the real people, <laughs> Jim, Jim Carrey, Carrey. because that Jim Carrey. was atrocious. It was a rule against nature. I'm slightly ranting, I know, but hey, they got to rant in all theirs. Let me rant. Okay, apparently don't go, don't watch The Grinch this holiday season. No, no, the cartoon, watch the cartoon. No, no, that's how The Grinch Stole Christmas. The Grinch. Oh, the, oh the, yeah, yeah, watch how The Grinch Stole Christmas, not The mm-hmm. Grinch. But The Grinch is in it. Yes, The Grinch is in it. Of course The Grinch is in it. I got you to do uh, your noise, boys. I got you annoyed. All right. Uh, I am kind of looking to see if there's any other Christmas movies I'm missing. I'm not really spotting anything. Oh, yeah, if you want a, a bad Muppet oh, movie. Oh, dude, you got Space Jam. <laughs> Yes, I have Space Jam. I didn't know Space Jam. Um, don't watch, however, It's a Very Merry Muppet Christmas Movie or Muppet's Letter to Santa. Those are bad Muppet Christmas movies. Oh, I did see one of them at Walmart, mm-hmm. and I was like, what the crap? The classic Muppet's Christmas movie is Muppet Christmas Carol. If you're going to watch a Muppet Christmas movie, watch a Muppet Christmas That's Carol or a Muppet Family Christmas. Either one of those are acceptable. One of them is far more likely than the other. Um... And one is just way more awesome. I mean, Fozzie Wig, if, Rubber Chicken Factory. If you feel cool. like stepping outside of the box, check out Gremlins, check out Scrooge. Both good movies. I came in at the end when he was watching Scrooge in the dark by himself. I watched a movie in the dark. With his cat. I have a cat in yes, my apartment. Does. Finally. All right. So with uh, Martin and Zach at the movies, episode 11... Featuring Corny. Featuring Corny. We're going to say goodbye. I might throw something else up here before the end of the year, but if I don't, see you in 2012. You mean 2013, you idiot. Yeah, I meant 2013. I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, I had to call you an idiot on this. I'm sure I'm right. sure Zach wants to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Actually, we could probably call him and say, dude, say it. You know, you know, what, you know what? I like that idea. Hold on. <laughs> she makes a good idea. And anyways... <laughs> See, this is why they have to have me do stuff like this more often. And anyways, if he doesn't, I mean, if he doesn't pick up, he's gonna watch this video and go, "Man, I wish I picked up." He could have been on the internet on the phone. All right, it's I'm gonna classic. ask you to be quiet. I'm gonna put this on speaker and then have him say. Uh, yeah, you also told me to be quiet through the whole thing. Yeah, and just the hey, first two. To be fair, I actually made the rest of it. I was sitting right there the entire time. She made it pretty good. Oh, dude, answer! It'll be like a Christmas miracle. See, it's ringing. It's at least ring. Huh? Hey, hey, Zach, I need you to do yeah, me a favor. I need you to do me a favor, dude. All right? All right. Huh? Say, say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas? Thank you. Thank you. You'll understand why I had you say Merry Christmas. Thank you, dude. Uh, Merry Christmas to you. 
And uh, you're going to laugh your butt off when you understand why I did this. Yeah, you really are, dude. I, I laughed while he did it. I, I don't. Dude, you will. <laughs> trust me. Uh, have fun in Arizona. Tell Katie we say what's yeah, up. Tell Katie we say Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Okay. All right, later. So from Zach he is so confused and I love it. So from Zack and Martin at the movies, we wish you a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. Later. Peace out.